Taurus, hello there my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for late November 2023. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business as always and start you off with an oracle card here just so we could dip our toes into energy and see what's happening for the lovely Taurus Collective. My gods and spirit team talk to me. What do we have for my friends? And yeah, I hope you're all doing great. But yeah, let's see what's up please. And yes, we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. And at the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean into, which is always interesting. Well, let's get it going here. Let's rock and see what we got from my Taurus friends. Please and thank you, gods and spirit team. It's happening. Okay. Feeling this interesting relaxed energy start to come over me already, which is usually when I start getting the tarot cards, I get these energies. Okay. I don't know if this is relaxed or an immovable type of energy. Like this could be, I don't want to say a stagnant type of energy, but when we have this bound up angel, it could be. All right. All right we have a lot of things to deal with here already, Taurus, because you see the imagery there and that's not the kindest oracle card, but it doesn't mean we have to throw the whole dang reading out. But there could be something that either your hands are tied or you feel cornered. Maybe you just need to get out a little bit, switch something up with that card. But before we fully dive into it, if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the November subscriber surprise towards the end. So you might want to check that out. Also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye, you know, I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo into the reading. Let's talk about it. Now, the imagery of this card is beautiful. We see this bound up angel. It's there with the big, beautiful wings, and it is all bound up with that red ribbon. So to me, if I were to pick a tarot card that this reminds me of, it's the Eight of Swords, which I've been seeing in earth signs this week so maybe you're feeling a little bit of cap and fever maybe you're feeling cornered or bound up or tied down in one way or another there could be something looming heavy when this card is here but remember i did say in the very beginning i was getting this like weird energy not weird but this energy of relaxation or not moving it's like very calm and immovable and then we have this card come out so there is something that isn't moving OK, there is something or someone or something that's staying the same. Like I wasn't picking up a ton of action when I felt that energy, which could be good or bad for some of you. Maybe it's something you're healing from or you're in a time of healing where things aren't as hectic. But this eight, this eight of swords type of energy might need to be looked at and resolved. Hopefully you're not feeling trapped. Let's get into tarot. And I always say that first card, it doesn't make or break the reading. It's just a little footnote. But yeah, we're going to get you three cards in the upright. Then we'll get into that juicy, intuitive stuff. What's happening for Taurus, please? And while we get the deck ready, let's talk about last week's reading. It was titled An Unexpected Change. So for a lot of you, things could be changing out of the blue, right? Work situations, feelings sometimes, relationships, all sorts of stuff could have been changing like rapidly. And that could still bleed over into the coming days and weeks. And that's an interesting mixture because... Now I'm feeling this energy already that feels like it's not moving or changing, but last week's it was all about change. So we're going to see what we have for you this week, all right? As you know, energy is very fluid. It's never set in stone, so only take this how it hits for you because we could be seeing your vibe or someone you're linked to. So let's get it going. What's happening for my Taurus Collective, please? Three cards to start. Really start to break this story out. Okay, yeah, there's the Nine of Swords. So remember, I said Eight of Swords, and we have like Nine of Swords type of energy. There's a lot of mental action at the very least. Let's get that Nine of Swords chilling right there. In a safe spot. Let's get a couple more out here. Hopefully that's not you. Could be somebody else. All right, Ace of Cups, good energy. I was feeling something similar in the Virgo reading, but we'll see what's up. The Virgo reading had the Ace of Pentacles in the same exact position, so... That could be a chance to change something or switch something up. Let's get one more for Taurus. Lots of internal energy here. Okay, yeah, Two of Pentacles. So something might turn out way better than you think it will when we have this Two of Pentacles on the back end. We will talk about it. There's a lot of early stage type of energy as well here, Taurus. So maybe something's just starting to get rolling. But let's go through real quick. I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes then we'll get into the juicy intuitive stuff. So at first look, first glance, Obviously, I noticed we have an interesting mixture. We have air, we have water, we have pentacles. Could be different areas of life. There's a lot of internal energy here with the swords and the water. But I like this harmonious card that we have on the end, this card of balance. Now, the choir fire is really going to tell us the tale. 
but it's like, all right, mentally, someone might be having a bit of a difficult time. Emotionally, we'll see about that. Monetarily, maybe things are just fine and dandy, right? Maybe it's causing this, who knows? But let's go through one by one and really start to piece this together. Position number one, we have the Nine of Swords. And I will say this, I've been having this still or like not moving type of energy. None of these are action cards so far. So we'll see. But the Nine of Swords, you see that? You don't have to be an expert in tarot to understand what this card could mean. You see that person, they're sitting up in bed, hands in the face. They're stressing, they're nervous, they're anxious, their head might be in a million different places. There might be a bit of a mess. It really depends when we take a look at it. But it doesn't just mean that. Now, sure, maybe you're just having issues sleeping at night. Maybe you're having weird dreams and nightmares, stuff like that. Could be someone you're linked to that's having a difficult time sleeping at night, all right? It doesn't always have to be your energy. But another thing I always link with this card, yes, there's a little aspect of the unknown because it's the nighttime, but this is one of my big paranormal cards. So just know in this time, your energetic sensitivity could be very much heightened. Even if that's not something you fully ascribe to or believe in, this is one of my paranormal cards. So whether you're having paranormal experiences in this time, more so than usual, or you're just feeling things in a heightened level, this card could represent it. But it is one of our more stressed out cards. That is for sure. So we're just going to place it down right here. We'll come back to it when we clarify and see what's up, whether that's a warning or not. Now, moving to the center, we have the Ace of Cups, usually a beautiful, loving, caring, nurturing type of card. All aces are opportunities. This one, similar to the Ace of Pentacles, could be some sort of offer. We'll just have to see what's up. But the Ace of Cups to me is like very black and white. One, it could just represent your emotional state when we clarify a way you might be feeling, how somebody else might be feeling. All aces could represent new as well. So when we have an ace after a stress card, then a two, that does tell me a lot of you could be going through certain new things, new cycles, or something that's in the very early stages. So for a portion of you, maybe something you're in the very early stages of it, and you're having a difficult time getting it moving to your liking. That's a big possibility, but we'll see. Usually the Ace of Cups is a very good card, and there's a lot of potential with it, but remember, it could just be how somebody's feeling when we clarify it in my style. Now, moving to the back end, this is where I'm starting to get pretty optimistic. We have the Two of Pentacles. Beautiful card. Now, once again, all cards have multiple meanings. You see this person, it looks like they're juggling the pentacles. All twos in tarot could represent decisions, choices, being at a crossroads. Generally, this card represents making the right choice, making the right decision, or something coming into a state of harmony here. But a challenge of this card could also be somebody that feels like they're juggling too much, like they have too much on their plate, that there's just a lot of energies affecting them. And when we see energies like this Nine of Swords on the front end and a card that could be juggling a lot of things, somebody might be overwhelmed, all right? When we go Nine of Swords, Ace of Cups, Two of Pentacles, if we're looking at like the challenge or possible warning here. But I did say it was giving me a positive feeling from the jump, like from the very beginning, like something could turn out way better than you think or you might have a much better result than you envision okay so we're just gonna have to see how all this plays out i want to dive deeper on all the Taurus. let's jump in and clarify <clears throat> all right let's get a good shuffle here for my friends please and yes this is where i go intuitive with the message it means i just tell you how it feels to me so feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. Let's go in on that Nine of Swords. Hopefully you're not having sleep issues, my friends. Rest is very important. I know the Taurus Collective knows that, right? If you want to be productive, you need your rest. But yeah. Oh, and yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages you want to give to Taurus, you can drop it down in the comments. I don't mind at all. All right, Nine of Swords time. Let's see what's happening here. Why is that Nine of Swords in the mix? Okay. Thank you. Ooh. All right. We have Death card in the upright. Don't be too nervous about this card. This is absolutely a few things I'm feeling here. It's very powerful. One, I'm just going to reiterate that message I was saying a little bit earlier about how this is a very paranormal card. Once again, for a lot of you, there's a big energetic sensitivity that someone is affected by right here. So if it is somebody stressing, nervous, anxious, or their head is a mess, part of that is due to energetic sensitivity, whether they're feeling you or feeling another person or feeling a situation. Now, initially, the first thing I was picking up here was a big stress of the future. 
okay? I'm not saying it's you, it could be someone else, whether it's the stress, anxiety, or their head's a mess, it could be about the future, how something's gonna turn out when I see the death card, okay? This doesn't literally represent death, so don't get nervous about this card if you're new to tarot. It's a Scorpio card, it's about change, it's about rebirth, phoenix rising from the ashes so remember i saw all this new it's like all right well how how am i going to start over or that's another vibe i'm picking up here like somebody that's having a very difficult time coming to grips with the fact that they might have to start something over or start new if that makes sense so we're picking up a lot of heavy stuff up here i feel like this could be an emotional warning as well we'll see how it all progresses but needless to say someone is very much stressed out here right on the front end stressed nervous or their head's a mess so let's go in on the ace of Pe ace of cups i, I don't want to overcomplicate it very simplistic message here and it could just be something as simple as somebody stressing about the future but there's that extra energetic sensitivity that i'm feeling as well so please make sure you're grounding yourself cleansing yourself locking your energy down in this time so let's go in on the ace of cups <clears throat> that's also a karmic energy too so i'm not I'm not gonna go that route just yet but let's see what's up two of pentacles could also be karmic so it depends on what pops out as well five cups yeah someone's emotions okay it could be two people mirroring each other as well okay there might be emotional difficulties and i will once again say that both of these cards combined could be a big emotional warning right for whether this is all you or you and somebody else there's a lot of deep tough emotions somebody's dealing with here in this spread now if that's not hitting for you please good check out your other alignments this might not be for you but though the cards don't lie what they're trying to say now the five of cups is the river of tears you see the person there they're upset they're crying they're weeping over something there's cups that are knocked down but the one good thing about this card is that it's not the be all end all there's still cards that are standing upright there's still stuff off in the distance it's not complete and total devastation here like we would see with a tower or the ten of swords but um, someone's emotional state they're not really happy like they're once again that mess type of energy where like maybe mentally and emotionally this person could be a bit of a mess and they're going through a big difficulty that's why I said this could either be an emotional warning or an important one for sure when we line both of these up together. However, the fact that we still have that two of pentacles on the back end could tell us that the result and the harmony and things could start balancing out soon. So maybe we're looking at the recent past. That's a big possibility. But I don't want to really pound this message home too much. It is what it is. Let's keep pressing forward. So whether it is upset over like love, I mean, the Ace of Cups could be a love and romance card as well. So maybe it's someone you're connected to by that. But let's see what's happening with the Two of Pentacles. Then we'll do a quick little recap before we get into the Shadow card. So why is that Two of Pentacles here? Please. All right, the deck is being very specific. And for those of you that are new here, I only read jumpers. Okay. All right. Someone's going to grab the reins and not let something slip too far out of control or out of hand. That's something I'm picking up here. We have the King of Wands and the upright underneath this Two of Pentacles. Okay. This feels better to me. Okay. So whether this is your energy, and I know Tauruses are known for being very stabilizing forces and people. And even though the the King of Wands is a fire sign type of energy. Any sign can embody those traits. When I see the King of Wands, if you're not connected to a fire sign, this does represent focus of your energy, focus of your intention, and this is big boss energy, very similar to the Emperor, which is also Taurus type of energy along with Aries. So when I see this on the back end, it's like somebody saying, okay, well, that's far enough. Okay, we're not going to let this spin too far out of control, which is a good thing. You never want to see these energies spin too far out of hand or too far out of control. So whether this is you being the stabilizing force saying, you know what, I'm going to grab this situation. I'm going to control it and make sure it doesn't get out of hand. You might be called to step up to do something, like to make sure nothing goes haywire when we have this type of energy. But I really like this on the back end. It's like, okay, someone gets their act together as well. Okay, so whether it's you or somebody else, it's like, okay, I went through this, I dealt with this, I went through that, I also dealt with that, now it's time to get everything back on track. So maybe this was a healing journey of some kind, maybe these are tests or problems, situations that someone had to go through, regardless of the warnings, to reach this state of balance. 
okay? That's another thing I'm picking up. Because even if this is the juggling that I was talking about with the Two of Pentacles, a lot of things, a lot of responsibilities, with the King of Wands, it's like, okay, I can handle all that. I can handle these responsibilities. I got it. So I love the energy we have here on the back end because it's just keeping everything under control. So let's go through and do a quick little recap. Then we'll get into the shadow card. I like the ending of this, but there are some warnings to really be had when we look at this spread. If you kindly look in the box, position number one, we have the nine of swords with the death card in the upright. So we do have karmic cards and archetypes here as well. I did say this felt to me like somebody stressing about the future, how something's going to turn out. I also had that vibe of somebody feeling like they need to start over, start again. Like, I don't want to start from scratch. I don't want to start again. But yeah, energetic sensitivity was heavy. Somebody in a dark place. That's the thing here. So yes, both of these together did feel like an important or an emotional warning. But to me, it felt like the anxious, nervous, or someone's in a messy place. Their head is in a messy place. And we've all been there, right? Moving to the center more of that warning. We have the Ace of Cups with the Five of Cups in the upright. Somebody emotionally was just not in the greatest place at the moment. So whether this is two people mirroring off of each other, experiencing these emotions in different ways, it's a little haywire, okay? But I don't feel like all is lost, even though there's like this newness. Now on the back end, we have the Two of Pentacles with the King of Wands in the upright. Beautiful way to end this because this is someone saying, okay, that's far enough. Now let's get this back on track. Let's fix this, let's make it right. So whereas like this is dealing with something and we did have those warnings, this two of pentacles and the king of wands is the stabilizing force. So you might be called upon to stabilize a situation around you. So interesting, I do like it. And I feel like whatever's happening here, this person will have it under control. So please take a screenshot of that Taurus. It's a good puzzle, positive ending where there could be results and I like it. So let's see what's in the shadows for you. Okay. And we're going to shuffle it up, get you one shadow card here. I want to see what's in the shadows for Taurus. And yes, I always like to pull one at the very end just to see whether it's something within you or something you don't quite see. Doesn't always have to be a challenge though, right? And oh yes, if you've made it to this point in the reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it down in the comments below. It's a beautiful way to support the channel and support my mission. So a lot of tears to choose from obviously no pressure right let's get one shadow card here thank you all right knight of swords keep it moving all right so for some of you this could be an air sign that you're linked to and the knight of swords sometimes can be a bit combative so for a lot of the tauruses in this time you might really want to steamroll your way through a problem and say you know what i gotta keep pushing i gotta keep it moving that might be the mode you're in in this time okay this Knight of Swords isn't a bad thing. It's all about forward movement and forward action. So whether this is spirit giving you advice to, hey, keep pushing, keep moving, don't slow up. Remember that relaxed energy I saw in the very beginning? You might need to push through that when this card shows up as a shadow. Knight of Swords can be combative, so please, in the coming days and weeks, keep your eyes open for any conflict and stuff and try to avoid it if possible. But this is my prototypical card of keep it, keep on trucking. Okay, this is a good positive one, as long as you're not going to war with people. So Taurus, that's what I have for you this week, my friends. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give you the details. The November subscriber surprise. If you got your name in for the October subscriber surprise, the winners will be in the community tab after this week's fire and air readings. But for November, we're bringing back winner's choice. Two lucky subscribers will get to pick a deck of their choosing up to 40 US dollars. So if you'd like to get your name in for that, it's two simple things as always, my friends. First, you must be subscribed. And second, let me know down in the comments. Out of all the zodiac signs, which one do you think is the most fun? Which one do you have the most fun with? And yeah, after that, you'll be entered to win. And at the end of November, I'll pick the winners at random as usual. My friends, much love, and I'll see you soon.